Hi, uh, this is Saif here. Uh, today we would be introducing one more scenario. Uh, in interviews, they give you a set, uh, give you a data like this, and they ask you a data to be thrown as an output like this. So it is nothing but uh, concatenating values on ID column. So if you'll see, for 10 we have A, 10 we have B, and 10 we have C. So what we have done is we have uh, taken only one record of 10 and the occurrence of second column has been concatenated via a delimiter called comma. Okay, so we'll try to achieve this. So I've already imported my source and target structures. And if you'll see, this is the source. And if you'll go over here, so this is, there is no data in my target table. So as if you will see first of all the data is not in a sorted format so what i'll do is i'll use a transformation called sorter and i will sort the columns on id bring in all the ports double click over here and it should be in ascending format so this is done let's move ahead so this is my source, this is my source qualifier, this is my sorter. Now what I'll do is I'll use a transformation called expression and I would be building some conditions over here. So bring in the sorted ports. Now I need to compare this ID column every time. So once the ID gets changed, I need to start again from the value. This is something like that. So what I'll do is I'll use a variable port and here I'll use an ID column. Let's create one more port and let's say its name is V underscore flag and data type of n string. Let's give a size of 25. Now here I'll write a if condition. So if my variable id is equals to id so at that time what i need to do is i need to concatenate it with a comma separation with the name else i need to start it again looks good copy and paste now let's take this port ahead and copy this variable port so I'm done now I need only one set of occurrence so I will be using a transformation called aggregator and I would be doing a group by on ID so bring this ID and the concatenated data subsequently connect to the target table and group by on id column let's save this mapping mapping is valid copy the mapping name let's go to a workflow and connect to the repository and let's create a new workflow and let's create a task that is a session And this is the mapping concatenation. So task link this task. The mapping tab source is from staging schema. Target is from star schema. Change bulk to normal. Insert the data, no update, no delete, and truncate before loading. So let's save this and let's execute this workflow. So this is getting executed. It shows successfully succeeded. And let's see the output. So if you'll see from my source, there were eight records which were being read. And in my target table, only four records are being written. Let's see the data in the target. So if you'll see 10 has been concatenated with the corresponding column values same way for 20 and 30 and 40 didn't had anything so that's why it's not happening so that's what we were expecting so concatenation of column values and that's what we have achieved 
any queries or any questions please pop up an email on smitsitechnologies and gmail.com thank you for watching this video tutorial stay tuned uh, i'll come up with another scenario soon thank you and take care